What's going on guys? I'm Mario from Wired Workshop and today we're going to be building this PC cart that can travel between my two workstations which is right here in the basement and right here in the garage. So there's two main reasons on why I wanted to build this. One being so there's a separate workstation down here that someone else can use this without me having to worry about them wanting to use the setup behind me. And two, this is also gonna make it a lot easier for me to stream on Twitch, out in the garage, or even outside if I wanted to. With all that, let's jump into the build. All right, so the basic frame of this thing is complete. It now rolls up and down the ramp. Well, now it does. The first ramp I built was way too steep. I tried to keep it as small and light as possible for easy use. Did not work, way too steep. Also, the way I mounted the wheels in there the first time did not work at all. By the time I forced it up the ramp that was too steep, I, um, I noticed that one of the wheels had just totally broken loose. Those screws that I put underneath did not grab too well. So instead I switched to making my own bracket out of these L's that I had and then through bolted it and then that is super tight so these wheels should be totally fine. Now that I know this thing rolls through the door okay and the chair slides underneath of it, I can go ahead and work on mounting the monitors and the PC inside. This is the case for the PC. Now, since it's going to be going up that ramp underneath the desk, I don't want this thing to fall backwards with all the wires attached, because that would be a nightmare. So to solve that problem, I'm going to be attaching these little metal angle pieces to the top of this PC. That way we can screw it to the plywood and this thing wouldn't want to shift around. Now, normally I would say don't drill into your PC case because that just seems like a bad idea and I probably wouldn't do it for my PC. But since this is Ryan's PC and he's not here to stop me, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I cut these angled pieces of wood to fit into this little gap here to kind of hide what's behind it because I didn't like the look of it. But before I screw these in, I want to 3D print something for a bracket that fits this little USB hub. That way it can sit flush in here and you can plug stuff in like flash drives and you don't have to go underneath to plug that stuff in. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and see if we can model something up for that.
Okay, so I went ahead and added the PC power button to the part that's 3D printed for the USBs. I think that's gonna be good to keep that up and out of the way. I also went ahead and printed out a cover for this video capture card that's gonna help a lot with streaming, as well as cutting holes out for some keystone jacks and where this thing's gonna plug in, as well as a power strip in the back. But we're gonna get into all that stuff at the end of the video to really show how this works around in this shop and kind of why I built it this way. Since all those spots are cut out and prepped where they need to go, I can go ahead and take out these monitors and then paint this thing. Okay, so we are finally done. The last addition to this thing was some hooks I 3D printed that is going to hold some of the wires to make all this cart work and come to life. It's not the cleanest setup. I could have used some uh, better wood for this and spent more time sanding and painting, but I don't think it's that big of a deal because it's mainly for functionality. And I'm probably going to be smacking this thing because it's gonna be in here while I'm working on things as well as me trying to get it in and out of the door. I'll probably be smacking it a couple of times. Also, it's Ryan's desk, so. Okay, so who is Ryan? Ryan has been my friend ever since kindergarten and he does all of the editing and all the online stuff, more or less, for Wired Workshop and doing the YouTube channel, running all those things, which gives me a lot more time to work on the projects and ordering material and getting all that stuff figured out. So having that other person to take away that part of things that I'm not even too good at is great. Also, he's been helping me out with projects even before YouTube became a thing for me. We made an arcade machine about four years ago, which turned out really cool. And ever since then, he's kind of just helped with most of the projects, especially if there's a Raspberry Pi or Arduino involved, I tend to throw that his way, even though I might want to do something outrageous that doesn't usually want to work too well. So I'm sorry for that, but I am very grateful that he helps me out. Now that the card is finished though, let's go take a look on how this is all supposed to work. So this is gonna be parked primarily next to my other desk about 80% of the time. And the way it works is an ethernet and a power cord that I'm running through my wall. And it comes out the side here, that way you can plug it in and out easily. If you need to move it to the garage, you don't have to run anything. Just plop it over here, plug it in, and you're ready to go. The good thing about having the second workstation down here is that Ryan's now able to work on this computer while I'm working on the other one and we don't have to fight back and forth on who needs to do something. So that's a plus. Also, my sister likes to come down here sometimes and work on things and now she's able to use this instead of the computer. So it works out for everybody. Another big advantage of having this card is being able to roll it into the garage where I can utilize my projector screen better as well as streaming capabilities. So before when I had streamed out there, I had to run a long HDMI out there to capture a camera. And now I can do that right from here when it's already out there. So let's go take a look on how that works. We are at the center of the garage where all the wires are. So it's basically the same setup. I have power actually up here and I take a cord off of the back, plug it into here and then plug it into power. I also have an ethernet cable hanging here to give this thing internet and an HDMI that runs up to the projector screen. A key feature is a video capture card that I have cut in on the right side here. That way I can plug in an HDMI that goes to my camera and I can bring that around anywhere in here to record what I'm doing when I stream on Twitch or anything like that. A good thing about the projector screen is while I'm streaming, I can actually throw the stream in the chat up on the projector screen. That way it's a lot easier for me to see and I don't have to come back to these two monitors to see what people are saying or if anyone asks me a question. I have it right in front of my face. So all I have to do is look up and see it that way. This is a different kind of project for me, but I'm interested to see how I use this in the future. I definitely had to stay within a certain amount of space to fit in and out of the door, but I also wanted things like the drawer for extra space and the little flip up shelf, that way you can set some smaller things on there. Some things I might add could be a Elgato Stream Deck for this thing to navigate Twitch a little bit easier when I'm streaming, as well as adding some 3D printed parts to that pole, that way you can hold the wires a little neater and then hold the remote for the projector screen. 
I'm also gonna be live on Twitch Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. So if you wanna stay more up to date with my projects as well as watch me mess up live, then you should follow me there. If this gave you any ideas for building your own setup similar to this, whether you're building things like I am or if you're streaming on Twitch, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.